Hi, I'm Mary Beth Stapleton, Manager of Family and Community Partnerships for Hartford County Public Schools. Welcome to the Parent Academy Real Talk on Canvas, the new learning management system for Hartford County Public Schools. With me today is Dr. Martha Barwick, and I'm going to let Dr. Barwick introduce herself and her new title and, and, and what her work involves. Hi, Dr. Barwick. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, thanks um, for being here. My title is Supervisor of Innovation and Learning. Recently transitioned from Supervisor of Instructional Technology um, and has expanded a, a bit to also include uh, supervising library media, media in our accelerated learning program. Um, so putting those pieces of technology, library media, and accelerated learning under the umbrella of, of innovation is a very exciting because as we know, when we look at innovation, we're oft, we often see a piece of technology. Excellent, and so thinking about your background, just if you could share with parents, what's your expertise, what's your background in? Uh, I started my career um, as a fifth grade teacher, mm. uh, taught overseas for a few years um, in the area of technology integration, uh, returned to Hartford County, which is home for me, um, to be a library media specialist, and then transitioned to instructional technology, both a teacher speciali specialist coordinator and supervisor. Um, one of, the, one of the pieces that I love, and it was actually the focus of my dissertation, was online professional development mm -hmm. and how we can support the development of teachers through online means and through technology and the support of technology. Well, I can't remember over, I, I can't imagine over the span of your, your career, um, I, I can't imagine your, your, your memory of all the different technology mm -hmm. that you've been too exposed <laughs> to over the years if we walked you back. I do remember <laughs> when email came and yeah. networks came yeah, to Hartford County. So cool, so and I'm sure every day it's a new thing. So and it's exciting to have a one-to-one -one level of technology access, yeah. um, which which had been a barrier for some time. Well, I'm sure the the pandemic put all of that behind mm -hmm. us, and now we do have that one-to-one, -one, which mm -hmm. is so exciting. So thinking about that one-to-one, -one and what are teachers using Canvas for, and and what would parents see um, in the home when it comes to Canvas? So I'm sure our parents are very familiar with the the term "it's learning," mm -hmm. and uh, which was our learning management system for about seven years, but really was sig significant in our, our virtual year through the pandemic. And um, Canvas is a learning management system very much like it's learning. Um, a lot of the same features you'll find in many of the learning management systems. So what we're looking for is a system that um, allows students to engage deeply with content, allows them to interact with um, both their teacher and their peers, and um, we get a lot of organizational features in there too. So we have a calendar to help a student stay organized and remember due dates and things like that. So all facilitated by the technology and extending the learning in the classroom. Nice, so thinking about by level, um, I, I know you've been training teachers for, for a few months now, so we'll start with elementary. If you're a parent of an elementary school student, like what would you see coming home? Sure, so um, when the student brings their device home um, and lo logs into their Chromebook, um, they would um, pull up a browser, an internet browser, and um, and we use Chrome on our Chromebooks, of course, and uh, they'll see a tile for, for Canvas. Mm. And they can click right into Canvas, it will um, sign them in, and then they will see their subjects. Um, elementary students' view looks slightly different than our secondary view. Okay. We're actually implementing a feature that Canvas provides to us called Canvas for Elementary, which just makes the interface a little bit more friendly for our youngest learners. And so I would say at this point of the year, with our we're just really learning to use Canvas mm -hmm. and beginning the implementation, in the elementary schools, you may see a lot of links, links to online resources, links to um, to library media databases. For example, my own second grade son, <laughs> last night when I opened up his Chromebook, um, he had linked from Canvas to Pebble Go, which is one of our library media databases for our younger learners, where they can research and look up information for social studies and science. Oh, well that's so exciting. So a whole new world opened mm -hmm. up to them and that can mm -hmm. um, enhance learning in the classroom by, by having those links at home. Mm -hmm. So parents might look over, um, see that in the computer mm -hmm. or the, the Chromebook mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. And then for secondary, how are secondary teachers using it? I'm sure parents might see different teachers using it in different ways, so. Yes. Um, um, I would say that um, we're in comparing it to its learning. Mm -hmm. um, in its learning, we had a what was called a playlist, and so a student could go right into its learning, select their playlist, and navigate through a series of activities or content being shared. 
So very similar in Canvas, um, we use a consistent template through all of our courses. So on every home page, a student or parent will find a button that says learning modules, and that would be starting the playlist. Mm. And so when they click on that button, again, they would see a series of um, learning activities could be sharing content, sharing an article that maybe a student would annotate over, um, sharing some video resources, maybe linking out to one of our third party resources, which are resources that our content supervisors have purchased um, to extend learning. So simulations, videos, reading materials um, can all be integrated into that playlist. They may see an assignment, so a place for a student to submit something to show their oh. learning, to demonstrate their learning. Great. They may see a discussion board, mm -hmm. um, and that's a really great place where, where students, teachers, uh, can talk back and forth and really dig deeply into a topic um, that they're discussing in the classroom. So it sounds like Canvas could allow parents to get beyond that question, you know, what do you have for homework? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that conversation every night, right? Mm -hmm. And they could actually really see what's mm -hmm. happening in the classroom mm -hmm. and how can they support that learning mm -hmm. at home. Well, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So thinking forward, are there any other um, tools or, or tips and tricks that are coming for parents to be able to use with Canvas to support learning at home? Yes. Um, so I'll back up to talk yeah. about phase one of our Canvas okay. implementation. So we have always, as um, a school system, uh, put a large emphasis in our learning management system um, around our curriculum development. So first, our learning management system is a curriculum management system, and that's really teacher-facing. So that's uh, curriculum developed and pushed out to each teacher's course so they don't have to start with a blank slate. Mm -hmm. They have these third-party tools that I'm talking about. They have their curriculum standards and resources right there as then they develop resources for their teachers. So that was our first um, implementation of Canvas. We had to migrate or transition all of that content from its learning over into Canvas. Wow. And then we had to set up our system. We wanted a single sign-on system so that we wouldn't have to remember a different username and password. So we had to set up all of that. And then we did what's called rostering our students. And that just means that the students are in a class are connected with the teacher that class and so that was our first stage of implementation making sure all of that data was transferring correctly and that our teachers had the curriculum they need to then design the learning experience for their students so now we're entering into phase two of implementation we're into canvas our teachers are in our students are in and um, we're looking at something called grade pass back and that means that the grades from canvas would pass back programmatically into TAC, um, into Teacher Access Center, which then for the parents, then um, they would see that in um, Home Access Center. Once that is set up and tested, and we feel very solid with that, um, then we're going to explore a parent app. Mm. And that would mean that um, parents would have a login to Canvas and connected to their students so they could go in and um, and see from the student view what their student is engaging in in Canvas. And we know that that engagement for parents is so important. So if we know that there's a science project due Friday mm -hmm. or that there's a quiz coming, we can we can nudge, we can ask, mm -hmm. we, well, what materials do you need? How can I support you in that? Mm -hmm. You know, those conversations are so essential for student success. And I, I don't know if our parents are always ever clear mm -hmm. <laughs> about how how important that role mm -hmm. is, but it is very important, and Canvas and can help them do that. Exactly, and a consistent place to see um, multiple students in a family, mm -hmm. so that I don't have to go to one system to see my elementary student, and then go to a different system to see my middle school student. That parent app will pull all of that together for a family. Well, we're looking forward to hearing more about that when that comes out, and would love to have you back to talk about I'd love it. To if come that back, could. yeah, we could maybe do some modeling oh, and, uh, and share the app. That would be great, yeah, because mm -hmm. we know parents are children's first and best teacher. We always mm -hmm. say that in Parent Academy. So, mm -hmm. well, thank you so much for this information. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your hard work. It sounds like it's been. Uh, a very heavy lift, but certainly one that's going to be um, supporting student success moving forward. Mm -hmm. I think we have a have a wonderful, wonderful digital ecosystem. We call it uh, <laughs> a system that that brings all of our resources together to do um, to really fully extend what's happening in our classrooms. Well, thank you for being on top of it. I'm sure it changes every day. And thank you for your leadership. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us with uh, Parent Academy Real Talk on Canvas. We'll see you next time.